Hey everybody and welcome back to Tens of Motorsports. Tonight I'm going to tear down the rest of this M54 engine. Uh, I went from kind of doing this as I go along. It's been being used as a front door mat holder for the moment. But I went from just kind of, you know, I'll get this done when I get to it, to all of a sudden it needs to be done like I've got tonight and tomorrow to get this torn down the rest of the way and get it over to the machine shop. The reason is is this car right here. If you haven't been watching my channel, you need to be watching because you'll lose continuity. Um, I'm just gonna kind of rip through this intro real quick. I bought an E70 X5 with the compound turbo straight 60 N55 engine. And after doing some diagnostics with Kai Wheat's borescope camera, came in very, very, very handy. I wasn't able to do this without that tool. Came to the conclusion that this engine is no good. Uh, I did do a diagnostics video on this, went through and showed a bunch of stuff on the top end. And even though we haven't pulled apart the bottom end, the diagnosis is not good. It has clearly been starved of oil. I can see damage here on the cams. Uh, there was some scoring in the uh, cylinder walls. Nothing crazy in the cylinder walls. Probably could have gotten away with that, but there are still bottom end issues and it's just not worth it. I found a junkyard engine, junkyard here locally. If you pull the engine out, everything yourself, you can get the engine, the turbo, and the transmission for around 400 and something bucks. So I don't think it's a transmission in this car, but I'm going to buy that because I'm gonna have the whole, I'll have it out anyways. You know, it's not worth not buying it and find out later that, that it was also the transmission. So everything uh, will be replaced. So I've gotta get this engine torn apart because we're bringing a new engine from the junkyard into the garage, get it to the machine shop, get this down to the block. Uh, I have a 330 crank for this, and we'll make sure to get that polished, cleaned up, rehone the cylinders. Uh, I did look into port and polishing the head. We're still kind of in debates. It, it you know, with the turbo charged and supercharged and force induction cars, it doesn't really matter too much, the port and polish part of the head, but it would be cool to do that. Like, even if it just makes it even if it's not more powerful, even if the power is more, you know, smoother power delivery, I think that might be worth it. So we're looking into doing that. But for right now, we're just going to be tearing this down the rest of the way so that when we get the engine, the junkyard engine for this car, it's going to go right back on to this stand. And we're going to do the same thing with that engine. Uh, the reason I'm rebuilding this M54, uh, for those, again, who haven't been watching the channel and keeping up on everything, is I've got a one race car, a two race car. And... The idea is to have both cars have around like the 400, 455, kind of that range of horsepower so they can be comparable to each other and then have an engine on standby. So this engine here will go into my race car. The engine in my race car will come out onto the stand at some point. That'll get rebuilt, be put into this car. That engine will come out rebuilt. And so just kind of like a little merry-go-round for a little bit until we get all three engines up to the same speed. And then once they are all the same, I'll basically have one on standby in case something were to happen. So anyways, I just got home from work, so I am in my work clothes all nice and dirty. And uh, so if you just see me and you're like, what, that doesn't really look like the same guy I normally see on the channel. It is me, I just, I came right home from work. I'm not gonna change into my nice clean clothes uh, to do some more work on uh, some dirty, oily crap. The majority of what needs to be pulled tonight is the uh, timing chain, all the timing chain stuff in the front. Uh, this might be an issue. Uh, that bolt there is normally like 250 foot pounds. Oil pan needs to come off, head needs to come off, uh, all the timing needs to come out, the Vanos, all this stuff up here in the front needs to come out. Um, we'll be marking all of the rod and crank caps. Make sure that we mark those one through six and what direction they're facing so we can make sure that we put this back together when the time comes.
All right, so we're about four hours in and uh, we're doing pretty good. Uh, there was a few things I forgot how to take apart, like the uh, timing chain and the uh, Vanos, uh, the, all the gears and stuff on the ends of the camshafts. Those are always kind of a pain. We've got the head off, as you can see here, and uh, I'll just kind of go over some of this. Pretty simple from here on out. So from here, um, I'm just going to be removing the caps here. But basically, I'll just make sure that the block is, is essentially empty. I'll even take off this stuff here. And then, yeah, that's kind of it. Nothing nothing super crazy. Just kind of want to show off this engine because it is interesting to see like how dirty some of this stuff is. How gummed up a lot of these pistons are. So you get a lot of this from daily driving, not driving it hard, not getting it hot enough to burn that crap out of there. So, I mean, this is indicative of somebody that just daily drove the vehicle. I think cylinder, let me see here. Yeah, cylinder four here is really bad. Look how much stuff's on that one. Yick, a lot of that. And you saw how like loose that was. I mean, that wouldn't be very hard to like, you know, take it on a sporty drive and burn some of this out. But yeah, let's get the uh, crank and the pistons out of here and uh, get this over to the machine shop. All right, so the engine is now out of the garage. Um, I thought I had recorded me taking it off the stand and everything, but apparently I didn't. Now, this still looks like, what? why is there so much stuff here? Well, besides the garbage disposal that went bad, but um, why is there so many engine components uh, here still? I was doing this to make room for the garage, mostly to free up the engine stand. So why, why is there so much left behind? So the crank, we won't be using the crank because that's a two and a half liter crank. So you got a three liter crank. I loaded that up to get to the machine shop. Uh, the pistons, the rods aren't gonna be used. The pistons themselves aren't gonna be used. Uh, the Vanos didn't need to go to the machine shop. I'm gonna be buying a different oil pan, uh, the oil pump there. Um, I've reused the stock pump before. I don't know what I'll be doing with the pump, but that needed to stay here. And then I already had a head that I had in mind because I had a spare one sitting around to take to the machine shop and use for this build and so I didn't need to take the head with me. So <laughs> I did all this work and I've got like a ton of stuff left over. Yeah, we've made room for this guy right here. A little sneak peek there of the next video if you're watching all the way to the end of this one. Sneak peek, there is an N55 that we picked up for this car. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. We're gonna be now figuring out what the heck to do with this guy. So I really appreciate everybody so much for watching. We will be listing all the parts that we buy for this next engine this next build uh in a uh, a sheet i'll do a, uh, a google doc and have everything on there um the goal right now i haven't refined these numbers like a ton but the goal right now is to build uh like a solid 600 horsepower engine and then um mostly running more like 450 or 500 horsepower that way i've got a little bit of wiggle room and that we're not like running the engine to the complete max i think these engines can do 600 horsepower fairly easily in fact in stock form you could probably get pretty close to that uh, in the three liter but i want it to be a reliable 600 so then when we run like 500 550 then then we're not like pushing that ceiling and constantly like running the engine to the max so thanks so much for watching and we'll see everybody in the next video